But again, how will it burn? He said, tell them this. The Russian spies have found out where the most powerful nuclear plants in America are. When the Americans will think it's peace and quiet and everything's perfect, some groups from the inside will revolt against the government. The government will be occupied with the revolution and then from the ocean in Cuba, out of Cuba, Nicaragua, Nicaragua America Central, Central America, Mexico, Mexico and two other countries that I can't remember. They will bombard the nuclear plants in America and America will burn. I said, what will you do with the church though? He said, many churches have left me. I said, what do you mean don't you have people here? He said, tell them this. People glorify people. The honor that Christ deserves, man takes upon himself. In the church, there's divorce, there's adultery, there's sodomy, there's abortion, and all kinds of sin. And Christ will not live in sin. Christ lives in holiness. And I brought you here that you cry out loud. Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Tell them to stop sinning and to repent because God never stops forgiving. How can He save them if America burns though? He said, tell them, as He saved the three young ones in the furnace, that is how He will save them. As He saved Daniel from the lions, that is how He will save them. But they must repent. This is what the Holy Spirit says. Be awake and repent with all of your heart. For dark days and days of trouble are soon coming over you. And there will be no place to hide, saith the Lord. 
pune mintea în judecată. If today you will not begin to think about me. Dacă nu mă vei chema din toată inima. And if you will not call upon me with all of your dacă heart. Dacă nu vei părăsi păcatul. If you will not leave sin behind. Și nu te vei întoarce către mine. And you will not come back to me. Mâine va fi târziu, zice Domnul. Tomorrow will be too late, says the Lord. De aceea te... And now America. O binecuvântată Dumnezeu. Was blessed of God. America a avut Biblia. America had the Bible. Ăsta e aur. This is the golden cup. America a avut misionari. America had missionaries. America a dus Biblia în toată lumea. America took the Bible all over the world. And millions came to God. And America, instead of growing, it fell. Because all the Americans, you know, oh, I want to go preach in China. I want to go preach in Russia. I want to go preach in Romania. But who's preaching in America? And I asked. It says the nations drink her wine, therefore all the nations are as deranged. They want to come to Babylon. Now who wants to immigrate to Iraq? Who accepted the most immigrants in the world? America. America. Dacă pe România ar primi o tăți comuniști din aici. If they'd say yes to Romania, all the communists would be here in 24 hours. Păi zic că din America vine Biblia. You know, they see that the Bible comes from America. Păi zic că din America vin misionari. They see missionaries come from America. Păi zic că din America vin ajutoare. They see all the aid comes from America. Păi zic că toate binecuvântările vin din America. They see all the blessings coming from America. Ei cred că în America Dumnezeu viază morți. They believe that in America God resurrects the dead. Așa cum am crezut și eu. Same thing I believed. Dar când am fost, am ajuns aici. But when I got here, am fost complet. I was completely lost. Dear Lord, I thought, you know, the devil resurrected here. But it was totally opposite that. But see, then when the trouble comes, that's when we'll see the difference between those who worship God and those who did not. As it says, 1,000 will fall to your side and 10,000 to your right. But no one will touch you because God is with us. God is with us. Now that my grandson reminded me, Mike will tell you the dream from Oregon because he forgot it. Că eu acum am visat, m-am sculat și l-am spus lui. As he dreamt it, he woke up, he told it to me and I wrote it down. El l-a scris în newsletter. We put it in the newsletter for next month. Să-l știi mai bine ca acum să-l țin eu mic. And he knows it better than I can remember it. Ah, so I get to preach. Okay, this was about a week and a half ago. We were in Oregon. It was in a hotel room, and he woke me at about four in the morning. And he said, I just had a real strong dream. And he said, it was getting very dark. And as I looked around, there were many people around me. And somehow I knew that all these people were Christians. And as it began to get darker and darker, I saw an army coming. And all of the army was dressed in black except one. And that one exception was dressed in red. And it had a sign on his forehead, and he began to speak. He said, I am Lucifer and I've come to make war against the children of God. And all the people, you know, became scared. And then Lucifer said, who has the strength, who thinks that they can stand against me, you know, go to the left. Those of you that don't even want to fight against me, go to your right. And he said that about only 25% of the people went to the left. And all the others heard it to the right. And then Satan gave the order, attack all of those on the left, kill them. And as the army advanced and they surrounded the little group, it says that a light began to shine from heaven and it surrounded the group. And a voice said, take out your swords and defend yourselves. And one of the people in the group asked, but what swords? And the voice said, the word of the Lord is your sword. Take it out and use it. And then they began to quote scripture from the Bible and this army stopped advancing. And all of a sudden they began to sing this song. And the army got so scared that they began to run away, run away. And then Satan became very furious. And he said, attack those on the right. And one by one, those on the right, you know, were all killed. They couldn't defend themselves. And then one of the people in the little group asked, how come those people couldn't be defended as we were? And the voice said, those people were lukewarm all their lives. They, one foot in the world and one foot in the church. They never really had the word of God nor the power of God. And because of that, they could not be defended.